Good morning. So, this morning I have already made up my smoothie. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to... I've already made up my smoothie. I am getting ready to go for a walk. Today's smoothie consisted of three slices of a green apple. Um... Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. I just got a new iPad cover. So I'm trying to figure out how to work it. Yeah. So anyway, so three slices of a green apple. Um, micro broccoli, wheat grass, uh, like two cups of spinach, a little bit of kale. Um... I think that was it. I can't remember what else I added to it. If I added anything else. Anyways, so smoothie number one for day two, done. Um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to go for a walk. I'll take you on my walk with me. It's going to be fun. I'm going to go walk up to my best friend's house, which is about, I'd say four and a half blocks away from my house, but it's all uphill. So that should be exciting and fun to try. Uh, yeah, so till then, see you on the walk. Ready to go for my walk. So this is the first time that I've actually been out walking for the last like six months or whatever be um, because of health and stuff. But I used to last year and two years before that, I did the Avon breast cancer walk in San Francisco which was is a total of 39 miles i never did the total 39 miles but yeah so here we go oh so that's my hill that i just kind of walked down and headed around the corner it kind of looks cloudy and it's kind of a little chilly out but it's not bad at all so um just to give you a view of the hill that i'm going to be walking up I'm going to the top of the street so way up there so anyways see you later okay so I just had to show you that it is a little on the chilly side you know when you take a breath and you can see your own air apparently it's supposed to be it's a little cold so so far that's about as far as I walked. Not very far. But we're getting there. And yes, I'm out of breath. But you would be too if you were walking up hills. But it's good for the lungs. It's good for the body. So we're going to continue doing it. And we're going to conquer this. Okay, so we made it up the first hill. And we're working on the second hill. I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah, so, in a second, I'll turn around and give you a view from this angle, but that's just a little bit of it. The fun part is that I get to go down in a little bit, but coming back, I have to go up the steep part of this hill, which, I mean, it shouldn't be too bad, but we'll see. So, when I was training for my Avon walk, or walks, since I did it three times, I um, wasn't so fond of walking in hills, or walking hills in San Francisco, so part of my training consisted of walking hills around here, around the town, because, I tell you, there definitely is a lot of hills around here. Yeah, okay. Back to walking we go. Okay, so I just made it to the bottom of this hill. And now for the last hill of this part of the journey. Um, we'll see. I'm kind of excited. <sighs> I'm hot, I'm tired, but it's good. 
it will be fun. I will be fine. I'm ready to be done. But, gotta persevere, right? Okay, so I've made it to my destination. Now, I'm on the descend back home. Felt great to go out walking again. And I will chat with you later. Okay, I am home and I feel good. My lungs don't even hurt. Um, yeah, I'm a little tired, but that's the first walk in six months that I've done. So, give it another six months and oh, that will be a breeze. No problem whatsoever. So, um, I think I told you guys that I like to crochet. But not only do I like to crochet, I crochet beanies for kids and adults with cancer. So, um, I just finished my first beanie for 2016. Isn't that adorable? Um, so, it's got... Oops, sorry. It's got two... Uh, different yarns in it mint green so somebody will like that probably that will probably be going to an adult most likely um oh I'm hot okay so I'm gonna go get some water and relax and probably crochet a little bit more um yeah so talk to you later Hey, so I know I told you I was going to crochet and I haven't gotten to that yet, but <clears throat> I had to go out to the craft store around here, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, and oh my gosh, it's so much fun. <clears throat> okay, so let me back up for a second. Most of you know how I'm a preschool teacher <clears throat> and in our classroom, I started a treasure chest box just to help the kids have a reward at the end of the day. And not that they always get it, but we have it if we need to use it. So today when I was at Hobby Lobby and Michael's, I found such cute little things. These look like little lip whistles. Um, so I found those. I found hair ties. Oh. I also found some really cute, sorry, I'm like trying to put them all in like a bag or whatever. Really cute little glasses for the kids. So I found a ton of things and I'm so excited to go drop them off at the school. Yeah, so I'm currently not working because I'm on disability, but, um, oh yeah, I also found more yarn. Because, you know, I need much more yarn. Ooh, aren't those cute colors? I love that. I can't wait to see what kind of hat it will make. Um, they have such cute things out there right now. And um, that was a lot of fun. So, I just had to share that part with you guys. Because I'm always excited when I find new things. New, fun, exciting things. Especially for my kiddos at work. Um, any of you that work with kids or, um, have kids, you kind of know that feeling like when you find something cool and special and fun, you just have to get it. You can't not. So that's kind of the shopping experience that I had today. Okay. So I am tired out now. This morning I went for that like 20, 25 minute walk or whatever it was and then um sorry I got a hair that I can see in the camera that's kind of bugging me um and then <coughs> try that again and then this afternoon I um went and dropped off um my car at work with my mom so that she could go away and go to lunch and then I went over across the street to our church and then walked home from church which is about a 10 minute walk or so 
So I put in at least half an hour of working out today. I'm kind of tired out now. So I've just been sitting here for probably the last 20 minutes or so, just kind of crocheting and chilling out and relaxing. Um, decided to eat some lunch. I don't know if you can see. Whoa, whoa. Okay, fork just fell out. That's great. Hamburger meat and stir fry. Broccoli and carrots. Oh, you can still see it's steaming. Um, I just pulled it out of the microwave. So, um, part of the diet, like red meat's supposed to be really high in iron. So I fried up some hamburger last night and made up some stir fry. And so leftovers, woohoo! Um, so yeah, so I think I'm probably going to just relax and take it easy this afternoon and maybe possibly take a nap. We'll see. So I'm currently making dinner right now. Sorry you can't smell it through the camera, but it smells really, really good. So I'm just kind of sauteing some um, broccoli and carrots, <clears throat> and then I cooked up some chicken. So I um, have no clue how it's going to taste, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining us. So not only did I make dinner tonight and enough for leftovers for lunch tomorrow, I made mom's, <clears throat> mom's lunch too. So, because I figured if I am going to go on a strict diet, she's going to eat healthier than what she has been eating, which is like lunch is consisting of fast food, which we all know is not healthy to have five days a week. So, I made her a ham sandwich with mayonnaise, mustard, lettuce, and cheese. She gets oranges, a few little mixed nuts, and carrots and ranch dressing. And then because she wakes up so late, she has just enough time to get herself dressed and walk out the door. So I have put in a breakfast bar. Um, I haven't tried them, but she said that they were very filling today. So I assume that's a good thing. So yeah, so I made her lunch, her breakfast, and my lunch, and my dinner. Oh, and I also made another smoothie tonight, which consisted of spinach, apple, avocado, um, micro broccoli, wheatgrass, um, oh, I added Greek yogurt this time, so I made it a little creamier, but it was good. So, um, I'm pretty wiped out, pretty exhausted after all my walking today. Um, I walked down to work, back home from church slash work. Um, yeah, and then I did my long distance, well, it was a short distance, but longer than my 10 minute walk, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm probably going to take a shower and call it a night. Uh, see y'all tomorrow. Um, I don't know what my day, well, I do know what my day holds tomorrow. Um, meeting with a friend, Bible study. Yeah, but starting to get pretty exhausted so I don't know what tomorrow's video will hold we'll have to wait and see